Calligraph Jones just dropped the official video for the Luanda Magere Legacy. The video quality is great, we all agree. I also noticed he's changed one which reads King, the other with the African map. What it really gets in the streets talking is the lyrics, what he said in this track. We will be talking about that and so much more. Hi guys and welcome to another edition of music video of the week remember to subscribe and hit the notification button so i do believe this line refers to carl donora niggas in sierra leone keep my name out of your mouth what do you think let's hear what the ambassador has to say hello 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 it's your boy ambassador ambassador again and once again i'm here to do a review calligraph Joe just dropped a new one luanda mega legacy so most people were expecting a beef track from Calligraph Jones after all the shots taken at him from Cal De Nero. I think this should be the second shot that's been taken at him or the third or so. But strangely enough, he decided to put a track I like to call just speaking your mind kind of track, yeah? So he's just speaking a lot of things on his mind. And if he happens to take a couple of shots at people from Sierra Leone or from South Africa or from... Um, generally because i think like he was just taking general shots and dissing rappers as a whole that they have bomb uh, bubblegum kind of rappers now we know what that that means but he didn't want to take a direct shot at anybody like that because if you notice even the last tr this track that um cal de nero put out he didn't go directly at lyrical joe but he went directly at sack and bigger names so most of the time there's this whole thing too of like who is bigger if i'm bigger than you then i don't give you attention and if you are bigger than me if you give me attention then i'm winning so everybody's trying to play those games and i feel like it's a very interesting landscape right now in africa because we have everybody has been a, what i like to call a local champion for too long and now people want to so it's like they have played their various local leagues and now they want to play the champions league so everybody wants to see who is the champion of champions so each of these guys who are taking shots left and right are champions from their various towns and countries but now they want to see who is like the king of africa so some people just assume okay population wise nigerians are good money wise south africans are good but now that does that's not the, the determining factor so everybody wants to claim the crown so as he said, I feel like he opened up with um, lines with regards to just speaking his mind. But as usual, every rapper starts with some brag, those of bragging. So he started off bragging, his this, his that. Then by the 56th minute, he was talking about uh, his like big daddy Kane. He feels like um, he's a different kind of Machiavelli in the flesh. I mean, if everybody knows Machiavelli. That was another name Tupac took towards the end of his career. And we all know Tupac was in the rap game. So he said that it's like a reincarnation of Machiavelli kind of thing. And as I said, it's a trend we're already seeing. A lot of these rappers are taking similes or likening themselves to greater names. It's just like what Cal Nero has done recently. You liken yourself to bigger names in the hip hop game. And then he went, by the time it was getting to like one minute, um, 10 seconds, he was talking about, he took a general distance to the industry, like just talking how the rappers now are weak and everything. And then said they're like bubblegum rappers and took a general this year, as I called it. And he said, um, everybody wants to be king. Everybody's king in now and the because they can purchase a crown so it's like and we know who he's talking about i mean everybody's claiming to be king of this king of that king of this but you're a king in your own country but now who is the king of the kings yeah king of kings as we want to call it now yeah so but everybody's claiming to be king because they can purchase the crown but who is the real king and then he went on to talk about um so you, i feel like he was just taking the general this so as i said he was just speaking his mind and his mind has a lot of th he has a lot of things on his mind so it sounded like a this but it's not really a distract he's just speaking his mind so he went on to say the international market for africans will never exist they they, they act like um even if you were kendrick lamar or you were j cole you will never be recognized in the international market so that's something which i feel like every top tier african artist has that feeling where they feel like i recall it was the time the nigerians went to the BET awards was it i don't know it's i don't know if it was sako d or was ice prince one of these guys who got the BET award but they didn't give him the award on stage until they gave him the award behind the scene and they were like africa deserves already to have a place on this stage and they were like we're not going to accept the award behind the scenes yeah so africa has always had that internal beef 
against the rest of the world like you're not giving us the recognition the recognition we deserve it's true we are getting some attention now there's not as much as we really deserve though so he took a general shot like to act like they like you because now everybody's like um, bonner boy we're inviting him to shows sarkozy is going global but we are not really going global like that yet because we don't have the major corporate things. I mean, he called some of those big name universals and the rest. They come from out there and it's just still the same trend here. Yeah? People coming from out to explore Africa. It has happened from slavery to colonization to everything that we know in the past. So it's the same thing happened in the music industry. So he was just taking shots like those guys who come and they make promises they cannot keep. So by the time he was like, by the, the, the second minute or so, early into the second minute he was like if africans you will never blow in the states and that's something people always complain like you're big in africa but you go to the states you don't get the respect you deserve they start treating you like some come up artists but you're, you're big from where you're from and when they leave the states and come here we treat them like kings so that's something he's just so they said he was just speaking his mind he had a lot on his mind and he was just spilling it out there speaking in every direction and then he said they make promises they cannot keep and then he went on to to talk about the fact that um a lot of rappers now he went to his personal issues where he was saying some rappers in south africa said they don't know who he is but he's going to come to joburg and he'll do this and do that then he just as i said he could not do a song without mentioning sierra leone because a lot of shots have come his way from sierra leone so he went on to say niggas in sierra leone keep my name out of your mouth we all know who he's talking about who has his name in his mouth but as i said he feels like he does not want to give the guy the shiny yet but i said it's just a matter of time yeah i mean like everybody's the industries are growing major in all the various you recall back in the days when hip-hop was just started up it was east coast west coast new york and the cali guys from california and new york they were taking shots then soon the midwest guys came up then soon yeah the 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 the, the, um, the guys from down lil wayne and the rest they, they popped up so everybody had their time to shine so for a while it has been nigeria south africa but now all the others are feeling like it's our time to shine too and we, we deserve a shot at the crown we deserve some attention too and that's exactly what Kali is doing and that's what most of these rappers would do so i'm expecting things to come from this direction like jovi from Cameroon is doing same judas from uganda is doing same caligraph john is talking now the guys from nigeria and south africa are just still observing to see okay do these guys deserve attention but it's just a matter of time when all of these smaller countries have made enough noise then the nigerians will realize like okay these guys are making moves so we should get in and then they are definitely going to start so i feel like it's going to be a very interesting landscape for the hip-hop industry or hip-hop as a whole in africa because everybody's trying to pop up and we know what happens like when when those clashes happens we get the best of everybody then the best is going to emerge and for myself i may be from cameroon but i'm a pan-africanist and i feel like let the best man win we just want the best for hip hop as a whole in africa we are just fans and we're getting entertained and that's just what we expect so in a summary i feel like he goes to end with giving gratitude to god and then still showing some his lyrical powers there so most of the song he was just speaking his mind and then demonstrating his lyrical powers and then taking some shots randomly here and there but i feel like it's a good one it sounds like a freestylish kind of thing but still that's not what we're expecting man for those who know i'm expecting the flu the full scale blows and everything lyrically flying in the air. It's going to be entertaining for us. So it's your boy Ambassador Ambassador doing it again. A review for Calligraph Jones. I'm out. That's the review, people. Calligraph Jones, Luanda Magere Legacy. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. It's been Eta on Chakara TV. We are craziness with a strategy.